Welcome back to the Tony and Talk magazine. It's Roberto, still on holiday. And today we're going to deal with a style phenomenon that has been hitting the headlines, hort scruff. But we're going to look at it from the male perspective. Hort scruff, the latest fashion trend that seems to be giving every man an excuse to skip shaving and call it style. It's a look that says... I'm too busy being effortlessly cool to bother with a razor, but let's be real, there's a fine line between looking like a rugged, masculine icon and someone who's just rolled out of bed after a bender. Hort Scruff is the name given to this carefully curated, deliberately disheveled look that's all the rage right now. It's the kind of trend that takes the concept of facial hair from lazy to luxe, with men sporting a few days' worth of stubble, strategically maintained to appear both casual and considered. Essentially, it's trying to convince us that not shaving for a few days is the pinnacle of high fashion. Now, the appeal of this look is obvious. It's meant to channel the the rough-around-the-edges charm of someone who's too cool to care but somehow still manages to look devastatingly handsome. Think of the Hollywood A-listers who've made this look iconic. Ryan Gosling, Chris Hemsworth, Idris Elba. These are men who could probably make a potato sack look like couture and with their well-groomed stubble they've turned hort scruff into an art form. But, and this is a big but, Just because they can pull it off doesn't mean everyone can. There's a reason this trend is called hort scruff and not just plain old scruff. The key word here is hort, meaning high fashion, expensive and curated. This is not about letting yourself go. It's about finding a perfect balance between rugged and refined, where your scruff looks intentional, not accidental. For those of you trying to embrace this trend, beware. There's a significant difference between designer stubble and just looking unkempt. If your facial hair is patchy or your beard growth resembles the kind of pubescent stubble you tried so hard to cultivate in high school, this trend might not be for you. Hort scruff is supposed to be effortlessly stylish, not an excuse to forego grooming altogether. Maintaining this look also takes more effort than you'd think. Regular trimming, conditioning, even the occasional dab of beard oil, they're all necessary to keep that scruff looking sharp rather than scruffy. This is the part that most guys miss, thinking that simply not shaving for a few days is enough. It's not. You need to treat your stubble like it's a prized bonsai tree, carefully tending to it, to ensure it grows just right. And then there's the wardrobe pairing. If you're going for hort scruff, you can't just throw on any old outfit. This look demands a wardrobe that matches its carefully curated vibe. Think tailored jackets, perfectly fitted jeans, and luxurious fabrics that suggest you've got both taste and money. The goal is to look like a man of the world, someone who's just returned from a weekend in Monaco or a spontaneous trip to an art gallery in Berlin. If you're pairing your scruff with a ratty t-shirt and joggers, you've totally missed the point. So where does hort scruff leave us? It's a trend that, when done right, can elevate your style to new heights. But when it's done wrong, it's just an excuse for lazy grooming. It's the difference between looking like a brooding, mysterious artist or looking like you've just given up on life. In the end, hort scruff is a trend that demands attention to detail despite its seemingly carefree appearance. It's not for everyone and that's okay. But if you're going to embrace it, do it right because there's nothing worse than trying to look effortlessly stylish and just ending up looking like you've completely lost the plot. That's it for this little style short. Hope you're enjoying these. As ever, wherever you're watching or listening, whether it's YouTube or your favorite podcast player, please remember to like, subscribe, follow, join in the comments. Tell me about things that you want me to comment on in future. We will be back when John, Alex and I are back from our respective holidays with our normal content we've got a lot coming up from september onwards but in the meantime i hope you're enjoying the rest of summer 
stay safe, be good to each other, and I'll catch you on the next one.